investigation time, Pleasant Ridge Cemetery. Um, fun fact, this investigation was actually, uh, it's going to be shot, yeah, I think we're working on four or five months after, like, the original taping for all this. Uh, so, obviously, there is snow everywhere, which means my car is not able to make it all the way up there. So, I figured I would walk with you guys and tell a little story about uh, Pleasant Ridge Cemetery. The first real bit of a, actually it was a first for me also, uh, the Pleasant Ridge Cemetery was the first uh, cemetery that was ever actually investigated by All Out Paranormal. And um, upon our first investigation, it was Dad and myself. And uh, we're walking around, uh, as we're taking this path that I'm taking right now, um, coming down from the cemetery and um, you know we're discussing how the investigation went um, just sharing thoughts on it and actually right about here um, is was the first time I ever heard uh, what I believe to be a ghost um, we're uh, like I said we're walking down um, you know, just exchanging thoughts how we thought the investigation went, and we heard a child laugh. And this, I guess, wasn't the, uh, the first time through a bit of online research. This wasn't the first time that anybody's caused something like that, so... I need to get in shape. Um, so it, it's, it's kind of a cool story I guess I'd share with you while we're on our way up. And... Here she is! So, very excited for this investigation. Um, it'd be kind of cool to revisit, you know, uh, revisit an AOP classic. Here we go. All right, here we are. Um, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Chris, the night vision's not on, it's daytime. You know, what, what are you doing? And the, uh, the answer is actually simple. Um, it's illegal to be in cemeteries after dark. Um, this one specifically has uh, been listed as close from dusk to dawn, so I don't want to be caught trespassing. Um, so I guess we'll start off uh, with picture taking. Um, the entire time we will have audio running, but we'll start off. Just some good old-fashioned digital still shots. Let's go. I've been here quite a few times. Do you know what my name is? You know by now that I like to take pictures. How would you like to get one of my pictures for me? Out here to hurt or harm you. You make some sort of sound for me. Change batteries before every investigation. It's just mu it's, it's muscle memory at this point. Dead gamma already. There we go. And just very uh, 
very peculiar. Um, we've noticed that uh, when we have instances of batteries being drained, it's usually uh, followed up by some sort of spike in activity. So fingers crossed that this means something. <laughs> It's a little cold. How do you feel? Tell me your name. All right, now we're gonna, like, just while I'm still out shooting pictures, I'm uh, gonna try something that we haven't tried for some reason. Um, and that is that uh, in, a, in our multiple investigations, uh, we've never checked out the tree line, which is, I don't know, understand why now that I think about it. Um, it's where a lot of people say they see red eyes looking at them. It's a spot where uh, that these ghost dogs are said to be kind of skulking about. So to the tree line I go. Check out this tree line a little bit more. Get some weird, uh, weird vibes in there. It's a uh, if there is someone out here or something out here, can you walk out of the tree line? Maybe leave some tracks in the snow, like these rabbit tracks. chilly out here. Um, kind of swept the surrounding area of uh, looking for any sort of footprints or anything. And the only tracks in here are mine and rabbits. So I think before I leave, I'll take you along for a sweep. Uh, see if we can't find any, uh, any other sort of tracks. Uh, dog, hopefully, maybe pair of shoes aren't mine but um, until that point I did bring a couple of pieces of uh, specialized equipment for uh, this very special debut episode and uh, the first of which is a bit of audio uh, I brought the Ovulus M with me so I think I'm going to move up here to this plot and try to do a uh, Ovulus session. Here's the Ovulus M. It's a, uh, it's kind of like a spirit speaking spell, if I can give an analogy to it. Um, the idea being that spirits can manipulate um, a phonetic generator inside of this, and it will uh, produce words. So here we go. If there's anybody here with me right now, there's a little black box sitting on this headstone. And what I want you to do is try to talk through it. Um, it it'll give you a, 
a voice that I can hear. Can you do that for me? Are you part of the Elson family? Or the Evans? What about the Lewis family? I just heard a voice come from that way. And I know there's like a uh, horse ranch that away, but uh, going by here, I didn't see. It didn't really look like it was there. Can you yell for me again, or uh, try to speak through that for me? If that was you that yelled. Could you describe the weather for me? Can you say that again? Sometimes hard to understand the first. Uh, when you're hearing this, sometimes it's uh, very robotic. So, I'll go through that one more time, but I almost think it sounded like such. Can you say something about a mistress? Chord, sa chord sample, maybe? Yeah, and the ovulus is uh, generating some sort of response. So what I'm going to do while it's doing its thing, I'm going to snap a few pictures to see if heightened activity going on, if it'll give me something in the pictures. You tell me what this thing is in my hand? If you want, will you get in one of my pictures? Gotta wait for Your breath to settle taking uh, wintertime pictures or look away from the uh, camera or something because with the cold. What's that? I think it said seven. That one I heard. Let's look for an Anthony, shall we? I don't know if camera audio caught that. I heard two very quick footsteps in the snow. Don't be afraid. Get my picture. Off. Did you, did you turn my camera off earlier?
All right, so what happened? Um, we were running on the uh, the Avios M. I had camera rolling. I was taking pictures, and my camera died. Um, it, I with no explanation. The camera was. I had about an hour of film time left in this battery, and I'll show. I'll show you right now. I wish I would have gotten something before. I just wouldn't have thought any thing like this would have happened. Um, it, it's got enough battery to turn on. And it's not focusing in properly. But the camera read now. The camera read now says we have four minutes. Um, so I don't know what happened. Um, all I know is. We were getting some spikes with the ovulus, um, and the camera died. So uh, it looks like we have to postpone the rest of this investigation. But uh, we will be back, Pleasant Ridge Cemetery. Hey guys, I just want to take this time to tell you that we'll be going back to the uh, Pleasant Ridge Cemetery to do a follow-up investigation. Uh, but uh, this time I'm not going to be alone. I'm, uh, I'm going to be taking five people with me, and hopefully it's five of you. Um, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go on to uh, Twitter, follow Hidden Hauntings. Here's names right here. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Then get on Facebook, like Hidden Hauntings, and I want you to write on the wall say I want to do a paranormal investigation and the first five people to get in there they're gonna go with me on the follow-up investigation get ready <laughs> 